hello, hello, hello. Hey, y'all. <laughs> because I'm about to do my hair in a little high puff real quick and I'm gonna talk about the natural hair community y'all see the title don't mind anything you hear in the background my son gotta hear his cartoons he gotta watch his tablet the phone all of that good stuff so don't mind that let him be I'm just gonna hop right into the video y'all y'all seen when I trimmed my hair like look how my hair just growing back like so if y'all watched my last video I mentioned my hair page or whatnot and I started my hair page April 9th like I created a page it's either April 8th or 9th not sure but it's one of those days and you know i just did it for the fun like it was quarant like it's still technically quarantine in some places some places i just wanted to do the hair page just to you know see where it goes i was already doing hair stuff makeup stuff all that good stuff on my main um instagram page and i was like you know what i'm gonna make a separate hair page i'm gonna just do a hair page or not might as well occupy my time so i successfully made that hair page or whatever like it's going okay or whatnot like i have 920 something as of now i believe yeah <laughs> It was an interesting experience to start a hair page and like grow it from square one. Like, I feel successful just having a 900 and something that I have right now. And ain't nothing wrong with that because I'm still growing. But that's not the point. That's not what I was talking about. I didn't want to talk about my hair page. I wanted to talk about the natural hair community because boy. So I follow this girl or whatever. Um, her name is Ariana, I believe. Her Instagram page says Ariana, like number one, blah, blah, blah. She made a video already about the natural hair community and I watched it and I was like, you know what, some of these points are very valid because the natural hair community is like low-key all over the place. Like, it's not what I expected it, it's not what, you know, to be a part of it is totally different from just watching it, if you get what I'm saying. For the most part, I'll say 70, 30, not 50, 50, not 60, 20, but like 70%, I will say is like, you know, normal people, they good, they nice, they engage with their audience, they're good, you keen, right? But then that little 30%, that little 30%, they're either upcoming pages or people that already have like thousands, close to a million, like all of that, whatever. Like they, everybody not nice on there. <laughs> Me personally, when I was watching natural hair stuff from like the natural hair community, I was like, oh yeah, okay, everybody all nice in there and junk. Not everybody, like some people are so, ooh. Like for example, the girl Ariana, she pretty much was talking about how some people even out of the natural hair community would talk bad about her hair pretty much. You know, she's transitioning. I don't really talk junk like off rip. <laughs> no, especially if, if I don't know what's like going on. I just don't talk junk. And her hair is pretty much transitioning and people, I guess, are like talking bad about how her hair set up. Like, the natural community? That's beyond me, boy. I, I didn't know that. I have yet to get any negative comments. Not that I care. Because I already have a I don't give a f I already have a I don't care attitude. <laughs> If I get negative comments, it is what it is because I don't know nobody from a can of paint. I don't know none of y'all. Y'all barely know me. Y'all only know me from behind the screen. Like, 
And if you do know me personally, you already know I don't care. <laughs> It was just crazy because the natural hair community is not like what I expected, especially when I was starting. Like, you know, you I just expected everybody to be nice, everybody supporting one another, everybody, you know, sharing their each other's stuff, everybody blah blah blah, whatever the case may be, but it's like positive. Like nothing negative but apparently there is negativity like i didn't know that so the natural hair community and i'm not talking about all y'all i'm talking about some of y'all the natural hair community is more saltier than i expected i look nice and friendly behind screen but these people are like really salty they don't want to support one person well this person may have more followers than them so they don't want to support them or they want to bash this person people scamming each other oh my god this other girl said that this these people that have these promos like that's why i don't like promos i don't trust promos like no he paid for a promo and the people never posted her stuff they just took her money that was it like so much for promos and then you got like pages that have like let's say like 50k pretty much they done past 10k they're at 10k or past it they like don't show attention to the upcoming pages they don't like bother they don't have like they don't care they don't care you have less than 10k so f you <laughs> how it is like it really is like being a part of the natural community now i can see that like i can understand like for product reviews and stuff like oh yeah this person's not having enough engagement on their page they don't have enough views follows all of that blah to promote my product okay that's cool y'all know those pages that post other hair videos from other creators and stuff like that like they they don't want your junk if you got just 100 followers they don't want your junk if you just have like 50 followers like they don't want to help promote one another i thought that the natural hair community was like all about supporting and stuff but uh, i'm just saying it's not everybody though it's not everybody i'm not talking about everybody i haven't had a negative encounter yet not looking forward to it i'm just going with the flow i'm having fun with the page just whatever I'm engaging with whoever, I reply back to my comments, I don't mind like doing shout out for shout outs and stuff like that, like I don't care, like I'm not getting paid for this crap, so I'm not finna go all beyond for it, I'm not like ODing, I'm not like, oh yeah I'm not gonna share your stuff, I ain't doing that, I'm not doing that so unnecessary like we're in the same community why would y'all not want to share the next person's stuff why would you not want to help this person get their post out or help them get their followers up or whatever the case may be but the natural hair community ain't what ain't what i thought <laughs> this is my personal opinion if you're gonna be a part of the natural hair community or any community at that you need to like throw away your negativity like we already going through a worldwide crisis and the last thing we need is negativity from our own community i mean i just joined the community but still like you can't be doing each other like that like y'all don't even know each other that's the funny part about it how can you be so negative and rude and mean and junk like that to people you don't even know you never saw them in person you like we doing all this behind the screen what? i hope i don't have no negative encounters like i'm not even talking about like negative comments i'm talking about like negative encounters with a fellow influencer or a fellow content creator whatever you want to call them I don't want no that. I don't want none of that because I already don't know you. So I have nothing to lose. <laughs> I gotta stop. We were part of the same community. And I'm like, I really felt for that girl that I follow. Her name Ariana or whatever. Shout out to her. I'm gonna put her I'm gonna put her stuff in my description box. So y'all can go check her out. Like her hair is real life transitioning. Like you can't talk junk about somebody's hair that's transitioning. Like it's not done with the transformation. It's not done. And even if it's not like uh, the community, 
But even if it's just like the audience, like y'all supposed to be the audience. This is why I see why a lot of content creators nowadays, they like be shutting off their comments because they don't even want to deal with y'all. Like some of y'all are like the worst audience ever. Like no offense, like don't unsubscribe. Just cause I said that. I'm talking about a natural community on Instagram, whatever. I mean, all jokes aside, like the world is already going through enough. I'm not a hippie or a world peace person and none of that. I just, I just don't like unnecessary negativity. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, it's unnecessary. Y'all can support one another. That's all y'all gotta do. That's pretty much it. Like, the natural hair community has more to it. Like, it's really negative people out there and they like against one another for no reason. I just, I wanted to make this video based off the girl that I follow, her video. I'm gonna put a link in the description so y'all can see that video because like, <laughs> if y'all like see, like she's dead serious. We are bonded together because of hair. Ooh. How that turns sour, how, how sway. The world, anyway, that's pretty much it y'all. I don't like my pup. I guess, I guess. I just wanted to do something with my hair, like. Plus I was bored, so why not? I know I haven't been like consistent lately, but I definitely have muffins coming up. I was gonna do one with tacos and stuff with my boyfriend, but like, I didn't feel like it no more. <laughs> I just wanted to eat. But definitely, oh, definitely stay tuned for those mukbangs, for sure, like, for sure, for real, for real. I don't know if I lost the spark for pranks. I guess stay tuned for that. I, I've been whipping something up in the kitchen in my head about pranks. I guess, whatever. Stay tuned for the mukbangs though, like, yeah. New viewers, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I didn't even realize I made it to 700 subscribers. 300 more to 1,000. It took me a long time to get to 1,000. I think because I wasn't consistent like I was supposed to be. I'm gonna try to be a little more consistent. I'm not gonna lie. I honestly don't have an excuse since it's like quarantine, but the fact that I haven't had the boost to make a video, I didn't want to be like fake have this fake mood like every time I make a video every video that y'all see that I have like I had to be in the mood like I couldn't just be in a ugh, mood hey guys sorry baby here like no that's not how that works like some youtubers do that but mm -mm, I'm not doing that that's too much work <laughs> new viewers don't forget to subscribe join the fam. When I honestly hit 1K for real, for real, like I'm definitely gonna do a giveaway because you guys have been loyal. Like, I ain't really lose no subscribe. I lost a couple subscribers, and eh, eh, eh. but we made it to 700, so clearly I didn't lose that many. So 1K subscribers, I'm gonna do a whole giveaway. I don't know with what. Might do gift cards or something. Like, I don't know yet. Keep on sharing these posts, y'all. Keep on and subscribe. <laughs> All right, y'all. Side baby, out.